Our next story comes from Iran and it's unlike anything you've ever heard. Iran has just revealed its first underground air force base. You heard that right. After underground missile silos and an underground weapons factory, Iran now has an underground air base. It's called Eagle 44, a first of its kind underground station that is big enough to accommodate fighter jets. And the video on your screen showing you how. It was released by Iran's official IRNA news agency, which says that this facility will serve as a tactical military base that will host both fighter jets and long range missiles. In fact, the video goes on to show a fighter jet passing through what looks like a tunnel. Right outside the tunnel is an airstrip from where these jets can take off. The video also shows generals walking inside the facility, showing off the colossal size. And this base is apparently the brainchild of this man, Major General Mohammad Bagheri. The chief of staff of the Iranian Armed Forces, he says that any attack from Israel or Iran's enemies will see a heavy response from Iran's many air bases, including Eagle 44. Listen to this. If a country or a place from surrounding countries or anywhere in the world is being used as a base to attack Iran other than the Zionist regime which we are already prepared for, that base will come under heavy attack. And also present at the base were two other top generals. Abdul Rahim Mosavi, the chief commander of the Iranian army, and Hamid Vahedi, the commander of the Iranian Army's Air Force. And they said this base had been designed to keep Iranian planes far from the enemy's radars. Interestingly, they also said that the purpose of this base was to maintain peace in the region. Have a look. Our enemies who usually have wrong intelligence should sometimes see what we are capable of. This will help maintain peace in the world and the region. This missile has been designed in order to keep our planes far from enemy's radars. The warheads of these missiles have very high explosive power that can destroy heavy fortifications. So where exactly is this base located? This Iran has not revealed. All that the state media is saying is that the base is located at the depth of hundreds of meters under the mountains. Another interest, interesting aspect to this story is the timing at which this base has been revealed. It comes right after the US and Israel conducted a joint drill in the region. And this was no ordinary joint drill, by the way. It was the largest ever on record. Around 6,400 US troops, around over 1,500 Israeli soldiers, over 140 aircraft, 12 naval vessels, several artillery systems were part of this exercise, an exercise that was widely seen as a message to Iran. In fact, a part of the drill reportedly included American bombers targeting a simulated Iranian nuclear facility. So is the unveiling of this base Iran's way of sending out a message to Israel and America? It certainly seems like that. Also, this is not the only underground facility that Iran has. Have a look at this map. Since 2011, Iran has been building underground nuclear facilities across the country. From Mashhad, Tabriz, Bakhtaran, Imam Ali in the north, to Bandar Abbas, Abu Musa Island, and Kohistak along the country's Gulf Coast Line. There are underground nuclear facilities just about everywhere. And unlike military facilities on the surface, which can be tracked using surveillance drones, underground silos are largely untraceable, also safe from enemy airstrikes. The last such facility was inaugurated in March 2021. Visuals released by the Iranian state media showed scores of missiles inside an endless underground corridor. 
the state media, in fact, called it a new base of, Ira of Iran's elite Revolutionary Guard Corps. It said this base also houses electronic warfare equipment like radars, monitoring, simulation, disruption systems. This was in 2021. We are in 2023 now. And Iran has built an underground air base. We wonder what it is working on next. An underground skyscraper, perhaps? We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.